guys. Okay, so today the lighting is not the greatest, but I think it's going to be okay for this video. Um, you, I think you'll still be able to see the makeup. Okay, so today I've got the Pacifica Natural Minerals Ultra CC Cream Radiant Foundation. Okay, this one. Um, I did a concealer video for uh, Pacifica Concealer the other day, and um, I when I purchased that um, concealer, um, I was just so intrigued by the rest of the brand. The packaging is really cute, um, and it was just really pretty, and the whole setup was really nice. So I thought I would try um, one of their foundations. This is not the only foundation they have. This is the, the Ultra CC Cream Radiant Foundation. This is in the color Warm Light. Um, they didn't have a lot of colors to choose from. I think maybe two in the CC Cream, and there's like three in the actual foundation. Um, but what happened was I filmed a video on this the other day, and it didn't turn out good at all. So um, I'm just going to redo it. So this is not a first impression necessarily because um, I've already tried it so um let's see okay so this is a CC cream I'm gonna show you like it's really um, creamy but look how dark like it's so dark um, I'm gonna put this on just so you guys can get a, a feel for it but it's just for this being warm light it's way way too dark and certainly way too dark for me and another thing is like um, oh, look how dark it is it's so dark. Um, I'm just gonna put this on half of my face just so you can get a get an idea of like, you know, the coverage. It's, I I don't know that I necessarily need to do a whole video on this because I mean it's a CC cream, so it's not like a foundation, like a normal foundation. Let's just get it on. Um, and I'm just gonna use my fingers, but look how dark. It's just so dark. I, I'd never be able to wear this. Um, but this is a very natural um, range of products anyway. So. You have to keep that in mind. Um, it's like a lotion, it, and it kind of—it sort of smells like sunscreen, or like um, yeah, like sunscreen. It's got kind of that smell, which I don't mind. Some people might mind that, and it didn't burn my eyes at all. Like I said, I've—I've I've already worn this, um, even though the whoa, what happened there? Even though the color is absolutely horrible for me. So on the downside, not enough. For shade range, and I don't mind a BB cream or a CC cream. Um, this doesn't have very good coverage, um, and but if you're gonna have a BB cream or a CC cream, um, I'll never purchase it from you if you don't have my shade or at least something close enough. And this is so dark and it oxidizes. So um, and also like it's sort of separated. Like when you pump it out, it's sort of like crumbly, crusty, greasy kind of when you pump it out onto your hand. So, and I don't know if you can kind of see that a little bit. Now you probably can't see. Um, but when I'm looking down into it, it looks like completely separated, like, I don't know. And like, it's really thick in the thing. So you, I mean, you can't shake it. It doesn't shake up to be well mixed, but look how dark. I mean, way too dark, but I mean, you kind of get an idea. It's, it's not really covering anything at all. If I wanted something that was, um, a BB cream like coverage I would choose the NYX one over this and this was like $20 so um, you know um, there's that to consider so the price is high it's not terrible I guess it feels very nourishing and very moisturizing but there's there's no coverage um, not even like enough for me to want to purchase this as a CC cream or BB cream and the shade range is bad so and the price is so high so um that's all I got for this one, and since I had already tried it and it was, and I've already have it, I just figured I might as well just do a little video on it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.